Prince Charles has commissioned portraits of seven of the last Holocaust survivors still alive in Britain as a reminder of history's darkest days. The portraits will become part of the royal collection and will be displayed in Buckingham Palace while the process of creating them will be covered in a forthcoming BBC documentary. All seven survivors were children during the Holocaust and are now in their 90s. Helen Aronson, Lily Ebert, Manfred Goldberg, Eric Hirsch, Anita Lasker Wallfish, Rachel Levy and Ziggy Shipper will talk about their experiences in the BBC2 program, Survivors, Portraits of the Holocaust. It will be broadcast on January 27th to mark Holocaust Memorial Day. The Prince of Wales said that the project was vitally important now with declining numbers of survivors and to inform future generations. He said, as the number of Holocaust survivors sadly, but inevitably, declines, my abiding hope is that this special collection will act as a further guiding light for our society, reminding us not only of history's darkest days, but of humanity's interconnectedness as we strive to create a better world for our children, grandchildren and generations as yet unborn, one where hope is victorious over despair and love triumphs over hate. Karen Pollock, chief executive of the Holocaust Educational Trust, said the fact that Holocaust survivors were going to have their portraits displayed in Buckingham Palace was a fitting testament. She said, these Holocaust survivors endured the very worst. They were rounded up into ghettos, sent to concentration camps and enslaved as forced laborers. To survive the concentration and death camps and 77 years later see their portraits displayed in Buckingham Palace is very special indeed, and a poignant and fitting testament to their lasting contribution to this country. The Nazis intended there to be no Jews left in Europe, instead these survivors are honored at the heart of British society. The Prince of Wales has long been a true supporter of Holocaust education and remembrance, and we could not be more grateful and indebted to him for the work he continues to do to ensure that the Holocaust holds a central place in British history and memory. Of the survivors Helen Aronson, 94 survived the imprisonment of Jewish families in the Ludge Ghetto in German-occupied Poland. She was one of only 750 people liberated from the ghetto out of 250,000 sent there. Anita Lasker Wallfish, 96, played in an orchestra of inmates in Auschwitz and was later held at Bergen-Belsen in Germany. Ziggy Schipper and Manfred Goldberg met the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in 2017 when they returned to the former Stutthof camp in northern Poland for the first time. The seven portraits will be on display at the Queen's Gallery Buckingham Palace between January 27 and February 13 and then at the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh from March 17 to June 6.